Um, thought we got off to a really good start, both halves, um, and then uh, they we got exposed a little bit with the individual performance from uh, Contavious Dozier. Um, just sometimes you got a little hat tip when the guy we just didn't, you know, it's an area we got to, we've been pretty good at. I uh, think we did a good job, but we're in, it's an area we need to do better um, on a one on one guy like that. And, um, and then uh, we put him at the line too much uh, defensively. So it wasn't, it was a little disappointing in our regression from I thought we were really good against Riverside um, that way. But, uh, you know, the guy was, he played really well tonight. And then, uh, let's see, we did a good job on the rebounding. Um, and our ball security wasn't as good. Uh, but the pat, you know, the way they played us, they mixed it up. Played, they pressed, they zoned, they matched up, um, and uh, we made some we made some good passes and 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 uh, did some good job, good things in transition. Uh, Jalen just has decided he didn't want to miss anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think he was one of eight in his first four or five games. He's twelve of twenty two from three since then. Um, it just seems the ball comes to his hands and there's no hesitation. He knows he's shooting and. Nine times out of ten, it's going in the twine right now. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's a confident scorer. Like I said, I I was I think I told you when he was out, I was just like think this guy's good. I'm, I think I'm right. He's he is good, and he doesn't uh, just got the right mindset, hungry to be good, um, still learning in some areas defensively in that. Um, but uh, that's a nice lift to, to have a guy come in there and bang shots like that. So um, just tell him to keep getting better. How did you feel that maybe you guys had to kind of, I don't want to say change the odds, but it looked like they were doubling Isaac most of the second half. I think he just had just the one shot. Um, did it kind of force you guys to do some different things just because they were taking him away and daring anyone else to beat you? Or beat them, I should say? A little bit. They um, Isaac got up to a good start, and then they started bringing the double. Um, and Isaac's really unselfish. And he, he uh, um, and he just, I didn't even think about I didn't even know it till now that he didn't get that many shots second half. So I uh, didn't think about it. You know what? They went to the 1 3 1 a little bit, and uh, um, it bothered us. But um, in a, to, for extent there, and we just kind of shot ourselves in the foot. But um, and then they were like, an Oscar twice, he like spun. We told him they'll, they'll come get your ball in the, when you spin in there. So I was a little disappointed that we didn't kind of pay attention to the scout. But um, this team's good that way. We'll, take what's given to us um, and a guy like Kamani who who will make some he really uh, settles us down and usually finds a guy for an open shot especially when people are trapping or pressing I know you just talked about Jalen shooting but with you guys uh, with an offense that's so um, no reliant on the on you know on the big guys between Ruben and Oscar and Andre and whatnot with a guy like Jalen who can space the floor like that like what does that do for your offense if he's you know knocking them down it's great and it's like, and we can give you different looks too. Like uh, we'll play Andre and him at the forwards, um, which makes us really hard to go. That really spaces the floor. And then you got either Oscar or Ruben posting in there. And uh, um, it just, it makes uh, people got to account for us a little more. So he's, uh, he's doing great. And um, we just need everybody to keep, keep coming. Miles, uh, seven steals, six in the first half. What are you seeing on that end? For uh, you know what? He's, he's pretty good at it and you know it's funny he hadn't had one of those and when he was the first years here and I mean he's a little rusty but like he had he'd get two pick sixes a day in practice and I'm like he's really good at that and he can he starts sniffing things out he can really be a disruptive uh force especially off the ball um he's gonna get better on the ball because we need we need a couple more he'll he just gets a little too aggressive and then we're giving up penetration or that stuff so that's part of the learning process and we'll play against some good guards coming coming up. So uh, we need him. He can try to get that school record eight. It's fine. Those are usually those usually lead to good offense. Uh, so the you know some of these preseason games against teams that really you know you're kind of playing a different game um, than you would be like in Pac-12 play. Yep. Um, I guess sort of what what kind of lessons are, are you and the team taking away from games like this that maybe aren't directly representative of how Pac-12 play is going to feel? Uh, you know what? There's a lot to be taken from uh, just trying to learn to play the right way. Um, also, d we need it because you have you know, this new era. We're going to have a new team. And being at home, and uh, we'll see what happens. I know last year we were, <laughs> we were crisscrossing the country and we're hurt and damaged and, and couldn't really put it together till late in the season where we had our run. But I feel like we kind of know what we have now. The short side of it is we haven't had – outside of Mississippi State, that's our one high major 
team, and I think we're better than we were then. We competed pretty well that night. Uh, I'd like to, you know, we'll see coming for, going forward. That's there's really got Santa Clara and Boise before Christmas, and then 20 league games. So it's um, we'll see where we, what we do and keep getting better. I hope. Well, what does it say about uh, Ruben that he's able to put together a, you know, a quality performance a night, night like this and so early in the season as a, as a freshman? Uh, it's great. And, uh, you know, I, need, I probably need to play him more tonight. Um, but uh, he just, he has, he's a high energy guy. Uh, and he was, he, he had another tip in that they took off. He was, he was really upset with that for about two minutes. I said, Ruben, they just made a mistake. They, <laughs> he's like, it's, he just kept telling me, it's coming off the rim. I said, I know, I know. But they made a mistake. But it's just, he's, uh, He's got such a good heart and such a good will to to improve and uh, and enthusiasm and and as we go up in competition, we'll need we need his big body. We need he's a competitor and his energy and and uh, it's good good for him to get confident. And what will lead to him getting more minutes? Is there anything that you guys? Uh, you know do? what? It's it's really uh, him and Oscar. Really, it's it should be trading off twenty and twenty. Um, sometimes he's been the he's gotten the short end of it a little bit. He's been hurt. I think as much as anything, he's had two. Or th he's had his ankle two or three times. He's had missed some practice time, and that was the most recent one. And he, and he had a hand deal that was out for months. So I just think it's been more of that, just kind of just physical. Um, and you know, certain matchups, he might might be better to start him, or even second half, or whatever. Um, the flow of the game, but uh, they're both good. It's a good problem to have, and maybe I'll try to figure out how to play both of them together. How do you get Andre going again? It just kind of seems he's in a bit of a slump right now. You know, um, I tell you what, he he felt good out there. I know he didn't shoot the ball well. Um, a little bit of Jalen's been, uh, you know, he's, it'll change here a little bit. Jalen will be on the scout a little more. I think that's how that works a little bit. That's part of the process early in the season. Um, and, you know, he made some good drives. And I'd say he plays the right, played the right way today. So, um, you know, if he, bang, he didn't get a lot of shots, but I don't think he was – turn anything down. I don't think he was forcing anything either. If he makes he had that one really good top of the key three late that I think Kamani found him. But he makes that shot where like, you know, six points, five boards, two assists. Solid. You know, I think he's I think early in the year I think without Jalen wasn't there yet and Kamani wasn't right there yet. Um but uh we'll we'll adjust and this is a pretty unselfish team and I think it'll it'll come around. He'll he'll, he'll keep shooting. Joe or Dylan next Saturday or probably not? Mm. I don't know. I'll talk to Leary here. Um, I think Dylan's closer, so uh, we'll see. I mean, hopefully, we need we could use a little some quick feet back there to to help cut off a water for a guy like that. Dozier. Bubbly time. It's bubbly time. <laughs> maybe they'll maybe they'll sponsor us.